Hunting for the Founder's Effect How the evolutionary phenomenon of the Founder's Effect is linked to the prevalence of Huntington's disease. What is the Founder's Effect? Let's begin with an example. Here we have a beautiful forest scenery with various types of field mice, differing genetically and phenotypically. One day, two species of field mice wandered to the dock and found themselves aboard a pirate ship setting sail to undiscovered land. Upon disembarking the ship, it became clear that the field mice were the only population of field mice on the entire island. After many generations, only the genes of the mice carried on the ship were represented versus the original population which they came from. These mice founded the local population on the island, hence the term Founder's Effect. You may be wondering, but why should you care? Let's look at a more relevant example. The Founder's Effect has played a crucial role in the population of individuals living along Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. And here's how. 200 years ago, there was a small village along the lake of, help of healthy villagers. And they were all happy. However, one day a genetic mutation occurred on chromosome 4, which possesses the Huntington's gene. The mutation results in insertion of extra CAG into the gene resulting in the degeneration of nerve cells, ultimately leading to death. Today, this is known as Huntington's disease. This individual with the mutated Huntington's gene did not know she was sick due to the fact that the symptoms do not develop until 30 to 50 years of age, which is past the age individuals be usually begin reproducing. This became a problem because even if one parent is infected, there is a 50% chance that each offspring will inherit the Huntington's gene mutation resulting in the disease. This wouldn't have had such a catastrophic effect on the small village in Venezuela if she had had just one child, but instead of one child, she had 10, all of which had a 50% chance of inheriting the disease. Small population size and limited reproductive partners resulted in a continual propagation of the allele in the population. Today, almost every individual with Huntington's disease in the Lake Maracaibo region can trace their origin of their genetic mutation back to the single individual. And you may be thinking, but this can never happen here, right? Wrong. Occurrences of populations with a high frequency of Huntington's disease due to the founder's effect has occurred in both New York and South Africa, along with South America, all within the past 200 years. Many individuals opt not to get tested out of fear of the results. If your family has a history of Huntington's disease, get tested. Visit your doctor for genetic testing to determine if you possess the mutated gene. You don't want to be the founder of a new Huntington's lineage.